These are 23 ways to use AI that you've probably never heard of because most people are only using a fraction of AI's full potential. I've been in the AI trenches for the past three years running multiple AI companies, and I can tell you, most people are only scratching the surface of what's possible. And in this video, I'll show you 23 new ways that you can use AI to turn on easy mode in all aspects of your life. Number one, master prompts for your whole life. Essentially, we want to build a single life prompt, a collection of all your values, your goals, your weaknesses, your principles, your life, every detail. That way, every time you ask AI a question, it answers it through your lens. So here's how it works. You actually say to ChatGPT, help me create a master prompt for my life and ask me the questions to give you the context about my life. And it'll ask you the questions, you answer it and save it as a PDF. Now, anytime you ask AI or any other AI, upload the PDF before you ask your question so it has all the context. That's your master prompt. Number two, hidden truth mirror. AI's number one opportunity for most people is to use it to uncover blind spots and traits that you don't even realize about yourself. Here's how we do this. I want you to open up your AI of choice. I like ChatGPT. Feed it your journals, feed it your blog posts, feed it your content, feed it all the information, any patterns for context, but ask it, tell me something unique about me that I don't see yet. The truth is if you've been using ChatGPT or other a lot, it'll already know this stuff. Number three, write books that don't even exist yet. There's definitely people you admire that have talked about a topic that have never written a book on that topic. For example, Sarah Blakely on parenting or Mr. Beast on how to scale a media company. So what you do is you prompt the chat GPT to train itself on interviews, podcasts, any content they've ever written, then prompt it to create a book using best practices about book outlines to write the chapters, the frameworks and the checklist, pull out all the quotes, don't hallucinate, and it will create that book for you. If you actually want the prompt that I wrote to generate books on any topic from any person I follow, click the link below and download it for yourself. Number four, decision-making journal. Essentially, you use AI to track the choices and review them later to improve your decision making based on the results they got you. Here's how you do it. Log all your major decisions into ChatGPT with an expected outcome, whether personal or in your work, and ask it to challenge you on your thinking. See, most AIs are designed to be very agreeable, and unless you tell it to actually challenge you, it won't. So make sure that you include that in your prompt. Number five, the AI camcorder method. You can take a messy recording of you doing something that you wanna create a repeatable checklist from or a standard operating procedure or a playbook, and you can get AI to do that for you. All you have to do is paste the raw notes or transcript from any video of you doing something and ask ChatGPT for a one-page checklist with all the pitfalls and the reminders for whatever you gave it. It will create a better system documentation for repeating a task or a project in your life that you can give to somebody else to do for you. Number six, break down goals to actions. Most people have a vision for their life, but they don't have a plan because they've never done it before. You can use AI to actually help you build a plan. Here's how we do it. Tell ChatGPT what your goal is and ask it to design a 30, 60, 90 day roadmap with action items and it'll build that for you. Number seven, visualize your dreams. Instead of spending all your time finding images to download and spending hours in Photoshop, you can have AI create a vision board that has everything that you want a vision for your life front and center in that image. So here's how we do it. We take our goals from the last step and ask AI to generate images of what your life would look like once you achieve them. And then look at it every day. Be in the energy of achievement. Number eight, automate savings and investment plan. Essentially, you wanna automate your wealth building when your motivation isn't there and you get AI to give you the plan. So ask ChatGPT to draft a pay yourself first schedule and bank rules for emergency fund, debt, investments for your specific situation. Most people hire these wealth folks that really don't even have any money to build a plan for you. AI will give you that with more clarity, specificity, specific for your situation. Number nine, tax deduction finder. Right off the bat, talk to a professional, but having AI catch write-offs, opportunities for credit and grants where most people miss is a huge opportunity to get more money back. Upload all your expenses 
Ask ChatGPT based on your situation, flag likely deductions and build a monthly tracking checklist and also ask it what are the grants that might be available that I might qualify for. Number 10, personal board of advisors. One of the most powerful strategies to progress your life is the concept of a mastermind or a board of mentors. The problem is, is a lot of these people aren't available. AI can help you build that without them being in your life, even if they're not alive. The first part is you can actually ask ChatGPT to tell you who's achieved the goals that you want to achieve so they help you build that list. Then you can tell it to act like them in a custom GPT to answer any question you might have about sequencing or decisions or structure based on the AI's best guess for how those people would have made those decisions in their life. Number 11, future self letters that rewire you. Essentially, you stay motivated by receiving letters from your future self. What you wanna do is you wanna feed ChatGPT your goals and your fears, then ask it to draft letters delivered to you in 30, 90 or 365 days. You can actually send them every month if you want, but it's gonna write the letters that's gonna anticipate how you might be feeling based on where you're at in your life, around your goals, and it's gonna just keep you motivated. Number 12, context aware memory vault. Essentially, you wanna let AI become your second brain. To do that, we wanna create project folders and dump everything into it. You can have a folder where you upload everything, your bank accounts, your current investments. You can even reference books that you think are kind of aligned with your values of how you wanna live your life. You know, Die With Zero is a great book. And then ask it to help you make decisions based on the context of your life. That way it acts as a second brain and it can recall relevant insights that it made based on what you shared with it. So when you wanna make new decisions, it has all the information about your current life and you give it the new information, then you say, okay, now I've got a kid, how should I think about my investments differently? And it'll give you an answer. I use project folders for everything, my investments in my life, the individual companies that I run. I was buying a new piece of real estate in Cabo. I had that as a project folder. It is the coolest thing to have my second brain be in AI. Number 13, just in time, learning paths. The ability to learn is a master skill. Too many people get busy learning stuff that doesn't actually help them. So let's say you wanna have ChatGPT teach you how to use AI. You can ask it to map out 20% of the lessons to learn how to use AI that matters most and skip all the fluff. That way it's just a punchy learning path that's just in time based on what you're dealing with right now. Number 14, meeting assistant. I wrote a book called Buy Back Your Time. So anything that talks about assistance, I get really excited. But what I do is I use AI to turn all my meetings into assets, not just a huge time sink. So for example, you wanna give the call recordings that you have, ideally you're doing them over Zoom, to AI and then have it pull all the notes and tell you what do you need to do based on that conversation. This might sound crazy, but I have a guy on my team, Optin, who wears a AI pin. It's a necklace that's always on, it's by Limitless. And essentially that necklace is doing this in real time for him all the time. He's in a meeting talking to somebody, it does a summary of the meeting and tell him what he needs to add to his to-do list, all real time, always on. A little advanced, but let's just start with having you get the recordings of your calls and transcribe them through AI. Number 15, risk assessment. Essentially, you wanna have AI assess the risk of your business or life decisions. I do this all the time. I like to use the voice app and I'll go on a walk and I will talk through my earbuds to AI about my life. I will give it all the context and the situation. The other day I had a major business restructuring decision and I gave it all the people, the business size, the team members, and it gave me back the decision that I was scared to make. I said, chat GPT, sell me on it. And it said, boom, boom, boom. Here are the pros and cons. That was the decision. And the whole point is to use it to help you mitigate the risk. So then after it gives you ideas, then you can ask it, tell me all the risk in that decision so I can understand what decision I'm actually making. Number 16, message sharpener. I have two people in my life. I have one person who doesn't like to talk and I have another person who talks too much. I taught them how to create custom GPTs that they can talk to for it to either add stuff to the person who doesn't ask or ask them questions or to trim it for the one that just seems incredibly verbose. Here's how you set it up. You open up GPT and you hit the little microphone button and you talk to it. Hello, are you there? Hey there, yep, I'm here and ready to chat. Let me know what you need. All right, I need you to take what I'm about to say, which is gonna be a very direct and angry thing, and then take exactly what I said, but re-say it 
in a way that's kinder, softer, and more still direct, but not as harsh. Can you do that? Absolutely. I can do that. Just go ahead and tell me what you want to say and I'll reshape it into something a bit gentler for you. Yo, bro, why didn't you send me the 2026 goals yet? Got it. So let's soften that up a bit. You could say something like, hey, I noticed I haven't received the 2026 goals yet. Could you please send them over when you get a chance? Still direct, but definitely a bit kinder. Let's go. I love it. Thank you. It may sound funny, but I know a lot of people that should be using that. Number 17, travel architect. Using AI to help you plan a trip is a master tool and you not feeling overwhelmed or confused. What you can do is give it the date, your budget, your preferences, and then ask it for a five-stop plan with hidden gems and must-sees. We're currently on a nine-month world schooling trip going to like 15 countries and 40 plus cities, and we've been using AI to help us design, follow weather, find games to go to, ensure the kids are always busy, all designed with AI. There is zero chance that we could have got to the level of trip planning without AI for our world schooling adventures. And if you use agent mode, all you have to do is give it your card. Number 18, an emotional debrief partner. Using AI to turn bad days or bad moments into lessons is one of the number one use cases for AI. Getting clarity around a situation, it's so powerful. The easiest way to do that is go into voice mode and just vent and give it everything. Here's the situation, here's what they said, here's how I felt. And then you can ask ChatGPT to say, sort through the noise and the signal and give me one lesson, one silver lining that I might be able to take on to shift my perspective. And it will give you that micro shift. Here's why that's powerful. If you stay in your head, you're in trouble. If you get things out to talk with somebody, it helps. And look, it doesn't replace a therapist, but it also is something that's available to you right now in the moment, don't need to schedule it, doesn't cost anything, and honestly has access to all the best therapy strategies to at least give you some direction better than just sitting there by yourself trying to think about it in your head. Number 19, content creator. This is not what you think. I actually use it to turn memories into content ideas so that I can share those with the world. The way you do this is you ask ChatGPT to ask you all the meaningful stories, moments, transformations you've ever had in your life, and then you just answer it. And then say, please reformat these into a PSL framework, essentially a point story lesson. And what it does is it takes all the stories that you've just like kind of rambled about and answered questions about this meaningful moment, and then it rewrites it in a structure that you can then create content with that actually hits hard. Number 20, the contract translator. One of the ultimate use cases for AI is legal. Simplifying confusing contracts and financial docs is a must, but there's a way to do it that most people don't think about. What I do is I have my assistant, before she talks to my lawyer, upload every contract that comes into my life up to ChatGPT, and then I ask it to rewrite the contract in plain English, highlighting any of the riskiest terms that I need to know about. And then I ask it to tell me the three questions I should be asking about that contract. I can take my assistant who has no legal background and turn her into a paralegal next level ninja to prep all the contracts where I just have all my email drafts having the answers to those questions. Number 21, the contract creator. This one's powerful because it will save you hundreds of dollars in legal fees instead of hiring a lawyer. It may sound simple, but let me give you the specific prompts. Essentially, you wanna explain your situation in plain English, but also give it all the details about the city you live in, the country you live in, the situation, and then ask it to ask you any other questions it would need to draft a world-class professional contract as a legal expert. Once it asks you those questions, you answer it and you hit enter, it will draft you something that most lawyers do not know how to do. And again, you can also use it to evaluate pros and cons to see if it's too one-sided for you, because it probably will be, so that you can find something that's more fair. Number 22, tough conversation role play. Essentially using AI to have a sparring partner to role play through tough conversations you know you should be having, but you might be avoiding. This could be maybe a parent you need to talk to. This could be your partner where you might have to have a really important conversation. This could be somebody on your team that you have to give feedback to. It might even be going to the bank and asking for a loan and you're really scared to do that, right? 
So what I like to do is ask ChatGPT to act like a certain persona, let's say your boss, your manager, your employee, and then have it role play as that person with you, then you can walk through the situation where you're explaining your perspective and kind of what they made you feel and have it prompt back and forth to have that conversation before you ever have it. Using it to role play will make you feel way more comfortable when it comes to actually having the conversation. Number 23, the eulogy writer. A eulogy is an incredible way to have alignment with your life and actually see how you might be remembered through other people's eyes. A while ago, when I was 23, my first business coach, his name was Bob, asked me to do something on our first call that had the biggest impact on my life more than anything else he taught me. And it was to sit down and write my eulogy. So here's how you do it. Ask ChatGPT to draft your eulogy based on your journals, your values, any other context, your master prompt that you might've gave it. Have it focus on what would my family members say, what would my friends say, people I've worked with, and people in my community. And having those four areas, that's what Bob did for me allow me to write and refine how I wanted those people to talk about who I was. And that gave me clarity for how I was building my life. Now, if you want my internal system prompts for how I talk to AI in the code, just click the link below in the description and grab yourself a copy. There's a lot that we just covered. And all I want you to do is pick one. Pick one that you think, if I started doing that in my life, I think that'd be pretty great. Pick that one, leave a comment below and let me know which one's your favorite. Now, if you want to learn the three things that will make you future-proof in the AI era, click here and I'll see you on the other side.